Xyogi, or Devlog Episode 4. Today I'm going to introduce you a damage and defense system. That's... Uh, let me come something better. Without further ado, let's go! To begin with, let's write down the general criteria for the damage system. It should be clear, simple and logical. What am I up to? Let's say we'll have a separate damage to the body, legs, head and other weak places. Uh, for example, the dummy has a head and a weak place under the body. We care with text a little and notice a problem. In action shooters, success in the game depends on player's abilities. For example, from shooting. If you shoot the head, well done. It's worse in the body and it's not worth in the legs. What is the situation here? In 2D world, everything is complicated with 3D, which is logical, because it's 2D. So it's necessary that head is accessible from any side of the antagonist, rather than only from above. The same for the other weaknesses. As in the option, they can be considered separately from the body. And if the bullets can hit the head, then it will ignore the body and fly directly to the target. That is, hitting the head in this case can be performed from any point, and becomes more pleasant and understandable mechanism for interacting with the game. In this case, it's worth making the head and weaknesses harder to hit. For example, make their hitboxes smaller. In which case, we will remove this weak spot of the dummy for now, since it's very unbalanced. By the way, where I was doing all of this, the was broke. Don't ask. And also hell with legs. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, it's... It's not that the shoot in the legs is a much nicer than a shoot in the pants, it's like... There's no logic in that, just random values when hitting the bodies in my option will be enough. Okay, the physics and walls is needed first of all to work with hidings and some devices. What needs to be done? We need to make that if you don't hit the target, then the target doesn't hit you. Makes sense, right? That is, we calculated the hero at the angle at which it doesn't hit him, and record it in a fairly close radius to wall. Otherwise, the lower colliders will ask a Wait, am I going to do 3D simulation in 2D? <laughs> Sounds fun. Okay, every n seconds we calculate the distance to the object. Then, taking into account the distance, we fix the area of non-occurrence. After, thanks to these two positions, we just count whether the bullet will hit the object, that is where it's in the sector. Wait. Why would I check it if it just can be done through the blow colliders? So he decided to recreate physics. Mm -hmm. Okay, the system will be built on the projection of the bullet on the floor plane, while it still hit enemies and is destroyed against the base of the walls. But for this we need stricter colliders, because it looks like a moaning of a drunk architect who embraced Pistafarianism than a colliders. Okay. To fix this, we go to the sprite generator, and for our thin colliders, we come up with something more understandable, through custom physics shape. Mm, they're so... perfect. Wait, I can do the wall system for weapons on this. Or or not. Like, the, the more often you shoot, the lower you... Anyway, we'll leave it wacky. All, all the targets are complete, respect plus, bonus, uh, back in the devil. Okay, something like that with a bullet. But then, that. And I also noticed that the bullet is visible through the walls. I filled in empty pixels of the tops, but this didn't solve the root of the problem. Later I realized that sorting of bullets and walls is a bit lame, and a little more offset. We have low hidings. How to make them work? We can make that when the bullets fly over, they are not destroyed. But remember that they flew through the barrier. And simply didn't cause damage to those who crouched down. That's all. This will work both in one and the other direction. And now we can move on to... Perfect. What? This isn't pixel perfect. Look at the weapon. Is it pixel grid in your opinion? No. And why? Ah, that is the image from the camera goes to the material before applying all effects to it. Cool. And then looking for a solution in two clicks, I found a code that replaced the weeks of my work with a couple of lines of code. Okay, at least the code itself works. The link is in the description. And we also change a couple of pieces. For example, making the dodge roll softer. And fixing all the warnings, because these yellow triangles are infuriating me! Let's just forget about it. Alright! Excellent. Okay, we have a damage system. Accordingly, we need a defense system. What does it include? Shields, armor and hidings. We have a mess figure out the ladder. It'll be possible to add a discreetability to it, but that's later. So we move on to these two. By shield, I mean some kind of object blocking damage from any side. Maybe even from all of them. Later, I can also think about them as destructible structures. Not yet. Armor, as is obvious from the name, is armor. 
the material fixed on the same part of the body, blocking incoming damage. Maybe not all damage, but I can also think about this later. But the Selmins can definitely be broken. We have a shield, and it works! Great! Moving on to the armor. It's more complicated here. Ideally, they should be done together with animations and other things, but for now it's okay. Just creating and attaching them automatically to the dummy. So far, I think they should be destroyed with a couple of shots. Then, in the game, in a slightly more ready-made version, we'll see how it should be better to do. So, I wrote a lot of code, and naturally, it just don't work. <laughs> Don't do that. First, the armor should appear on the selected parts of the body. Uh, let's say it's it's like this. Um, okay, the armor appears. Even all of it. Moving it higher. It takes damage, but it's not destroyed. We change the name in the code, and everything is super. The armor breaks with a couple of shots, and the enemy is vulnerable again. And the fact that it moved out uh, doesn't matter. It's still made in an artisanal way, and will be changed later. Can you do it normally right away? Shh. That's all for now. Next, most likely, I'll try to make lights and other effects. Thank you for watching! I hope the next video will be in a couple of weeks. Likes, dislikes, subscriptions, comments, suggestions, ideas. Good luck and see ya! Peace out!